Hi, welcome back. So I want to answer a couple of questions that I've gotten from some of my YouTube subscribers and they have seen me make journaling charms and add beads to my tags and different things that I do and they've asked me how to show them how I wire wrap. So I'm going to give you my version of wire wrapping. So you know the first thing that you need to do is you need a pair of nippers or wire cutters and you need a pair of pliers. I'm using copper wire but I'm assuming that the majority of you are going to be using art excuse me artistic or craft wire which is fine. Those come very soft. If you are going to use um, a metal wire like a sterling wire or a copper wire or even a gold or gold filled wire make sure that you get dead soft wire and the reason why is as you use your tools it will work hard in your metal and it can break and if you're not experienced at it you can find yourself with a lot of broken bits of metal that you can't do anything with and I know for you experienced beaters they'll be and for those of you just starting out you can absolutely string all of your beads onto your wire and never have to cut a small piece but let's just start with the basics and I can show you that at a, at a future time so metal your piece of metal, you've snipped it, holding it between your pliers and you're going to bend it toward you. Now a jeweler's best friend is their fingers, their hands. They will not mark up your metal and it will not work hard in your metal when you use your hands, your fingers. Then you're going to continue to bend it toward you until you have an eye. You're going to remove your pliers, you're going to hold your eye with the tip of your pliers and you're going to use your fingers to bend your metal around. Now this is also why it's important if you're going to buy any sort of metal that's not artistic or craft wire metal that you use that you buy dead soft wire because it's easy to use you can manipulate it with your hands and you'll have less break breakage and you know it's it's much easier to use half hard unless you're gonna um, use some form of heat to heat your metal up it's not necessarily worth it. And by heating it up, I mean by using a jeweler's torch and annealing it and making it soft. So just make sure that when you buy, if you buy any metal, even gold filled wire metal, buy it dead soft. Now you're just going to bend your, your end in until it's wrapped all the way around. Okay, so now we're going to put our bead on. Got your bead going on there. You're going to do the same thing in reverse. Hold your metal, make your L, wrap it around. Now this you may want to take your pliers out and then just manipulate your wire around till you get it close to your bead. Now that's the other thing is you don't want to get it too close to your bead because as you wrap it around and around and around you can sometimes break your beads. So you want to be sort of mindful of it. Now this is the part that I, ha I have to admit myself I've done many times where I'm wire wrapping a whole bunch of stuff and I'm not really paying attention and I don't add my beads so then I just end up with an extra bead not wire wrapped. This is where you're going to add it to your creation or your next link or whatever you're working with. Do the same step we did before. You're going to hold, hold the circle of the bead you're wrapping Pull the wire toward you until you've wrapped it all the way around as far as you can without making it too tight. And then you're going to snip it as close as you can. Now this is the other part. You want to be very gentle not to snip the eye of your, of your, I've done that before too, where you, after you've wrapped the whole thing, you've snipped the eye. And then take your, your pliers back and manipulate it until you're, you have tucked your in successfully wrapping it around the other side. I'm doing any any further adjusting that you think you might need. I tend to be a little bit more of a perfectionist but you know there's no rules in it. I like it when it's rustic as well. And there you go. That's as simple as it gets. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, from my heart to your heart, I'm sending you so much aloha. Take care, till next time. Bye.